Hey, what's going on, working class hustlers? It is La Machine and the lovely Miss Karen. We are here for your benefit and to add value. Now, before we get going, because we do a lot of work, I want to outline something for you real quick. Okay, remember, when it comes to sourcing on Amazon using the arbitrage business model, when you do it my way, in order to source products, you want to evaluate, right? You need to be able to tell whether or not you can make money. Then you make the purchase. Then you process your orders. Now, of course, if that's FBA, they're going to do a lot of that for you. Then you got to make sure that you're identifying your replants, because if you're going to build a business, you've got to have products coming in on a regular basis. And then you need to learn how to manage your business. Now, without further ado, now, can you see my screen? We can see it. All right. So check it out, guys. We're going to get right to work. And we we used the software Tactical Arbitrage. That's what this is all about. And if you stay tuned, we're actually going to have a segment where we show you how to set up what is called a product search. So with that being said, let's jump right in. Now we did a search under the category of industrial and scientific. A lot of times people are using the software and they're not really thinking about that category, but I'm telling you, there's some gems you can find. So if you're looking at my screen right now, as you can see here, we're looking at a tape measure from Milwaukee Tools. And I can tell you, those sell really, really well. If you can find uh, a product that you can source, it's a good replan. If you want to learn how to use the software to make money, that's what this is all about, right? Real quick, we're not going to get into exactly how we're using this software to evaluate. We go deep in a lot of videos, videos. So check the description. We got plenty of videos that really jump in. But right away, you can see that you should be paying somewhere in the neighborhood of five bucks. Obviously, you might have some tax and it should be buy boxing around 16 bucks. So just some quick math. Anytime you can take what you're paying and triple it, when it comes to the buy box, you'll usually make a little bit of money. If everything works out, you're going to make about 473, maybe a little bit less, but you've got a pretty big return on investment that you're looking at. So you've got room to maneuver. So watch. Here's where we found the product. And you got to excuse my screen, guys. I don't have the right uh, monitor that I wanted to use today, but we're looking at a site called Acme Tools. Remember, when we're evaluating, what are we doing, guys? First, we're making sure we have the right product, that it's at the right price or at least somewhere near. So we're looking at the Milwaukee six-foot keychain tape measure, right? Then we want to go over to Amazon and see if we got the same thing. Sometimes we don't. It's easy to get the wrong thing. That's why part of your evaluation is checking, double checking, triple checking before you make your purchase. Now, as you can see, we've got the six foot keychain tape measure. A quick glance at that keeper chart shows you a lot of velocity. We're looking at that green line, okay? We're, we're looking at a suppressed buy box. Guys, if you follow my channel, you know I love suppressed buy boxes. Why? Because usually that means you're getting a better price. Okay. Now you got two people selling. Another thing you want to look at is the number that they're showing in stock. Now, mind you, both of these are merchant fulfilled so they can play with these numbers. You don't know if that's what they really have. This one says he has 15. This one says he has five. Eh, could be, but you can play around with that. No one is is there's no really there's no real degree of measurement with that. Now, if there was an FBA, uh, nine times out of 10, you're going to have an accurate number. Now, the next thing you want to do is make sure, see if you could actually make some money with that. I use Inventory Labs um, 
scout feature and you can see i already have it plugged in for you so if you're going to spend about five dollars you're going to list it around sixteen dollars you're going to make around again you gotta you gotta take you gotta factor in tax if you have it okay you gotta factor in what it's going to cost you to get it into the uh the warehouse if you're going fba that's probably you could factor a dollar unless you're really you know at some point you're going to get it down to maybe 30 cents like myself now with this software or which with any software you're going to use to evaluate you do want to check in case you do merchant fulfill now it all depends on how much that product weighs and you you'll get better at estimating I probably would not go merchant fulfilled. I'd probably lose money on that, but that's going to be for you to decide. Guys, we have, uh, let me see, we've got one, two, three, about four leads that we're going to show you. But let's take a moment because I want to make sure we acknowledge everybody who's out here right now we've got looks like we've got eight people and four likes boy we're doing good anybody that happens to be out here can you please take a moment to give us a like a thumbs up maybe leave a comment and let you know that you're out here i see casey i think that's casey cameron says hello thank you so much for visiting uh somebody just joined so please leave a comment, give a thumbs up. Let us acknowledge you. If you have any questions, this is your forum. OK, so we're here for you. And if not too many people show up, you got us all to yourself. So with that being said, let's move on to the next product that we're going to show. I want to say hi to Jim. Hi, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Jim is our producer. He's the guy that makes sure we get all these videos up every week for your benefit. Now, here's a product we found in the toy category. And remember, guys, we're here to make money. That's what we're showing you how to do. But mostly what we're trying to do is show you how we choose products. You don't have to jump on these. It'd be nice if we found a product right now that that you could use that's that's my goal but more importantly is you just learning our system of evaluations you being encouraged because you can do this guys but again we're using this, the software tactical arbitrage and you can see a toy that's coming from target now there's something i want you to pay attention to because this product doesn't necessarily have the largest you know margins and there's something I want you to be able to, one, one way to evaluate, I'm going to show you. So stay tuned. So what the product is, is some type of make it mini food di dinner series. Okay. And it's running about $9.99 at Target. Okay. Now, you, of course, you're probably going to have a tax situation just depending on where you're located. But then if you come... To Amazon, well, you can see Amazon selling it. I'll jump on an Amazon. I'll jump on a listing that Amazon is on. But but here, the first thing you're going to notice is, well, hey, if I'm paying $9.99 plus tax, how am I going to jump in with, with Amazon? Okay. Well, number one, there are 23 people selling this product. So when you open this up and you go from 9 97 and then you jump up to almost 20 bucks okay and you're thinking to yourself okay well if amazon is selling it for 997 how are all these people selling it for roughly 20 bucks why would they be doing that well the next thing you want to do is over to the keeper chart and what you're going to notice is this tan line that represents the time period that Amazon had it in stock and you see these gaping holes. What these other guys are doing, they're jumping in whenever Amazon runs out. 
apparently Amazon ran out back in December, and that was probably because of the holiday season. Then Amazon was in stock up until, oh, I don't know, about the 20th of January. And then they were out a little bit. And mind you, you got a lot of velocity with this product, so it must be popular. Here, let's check the rank. That's another thing you're going to look at to evaluate the rank. Look at that. 403 in toys and games. Now, what would you say to a rank like that, Karen, in toys and games, 403? That is incredible rank. <laughs> I mean, so, under 100,000 is great in toys. So to put it in perspective, right? Right. And, and mind you, we're showing you, you make your own decision. That That's up to you. But how do you make your decision? What are you considering? You see what I'm saying? You're considering, okay, then they went out of stock from, oh, about the 25th of, of January. And they stayed out of stock all the way up to, I don't know, a few days ago, the, the 16th, something like that. There was money being made. You don't have... I don't, I wouldn't say an excessive number of people selling it. They will rotate typically. I don't know. Let's see. It's possible. I'm thinking, yeah, it's not that many people FBA on this product. Now, again, if you came over, you'd make, oh, roughly 250. Are you again? You got to take that down a, a notch for some of your expenses, but you've got enough room to play with again your business is your business and your criteria and your return on investment that you want to work with that's going to be up to you take what you learn here and apply it to the products that you want you get in what you get out what you put in so if you want much better returns because around you're going to end up with about 20 percent on this until it's all said and done if that's not good enough well you just keep searching and eventually you will find those deals but this is just an example okay uh again merchant fulfilled probably wouldn't work uh it's just not enough margin in that so before we look at another item let's let's come out and see what the what the working class hustlers are doing so we've got 13 people out uh, please leave a comment. We don't know we we don't know who you are unless you leave a comment. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned. We got a couple of segments that you're gonna love. Number one, we're gonna do a segment where we show how to use the software tactical arbitrage, and we're gonna be we're gonna be going over how to set up a product search. But we also, Karen and I, we're gonna talk about something very important to you. We're going to talk about what the gurus don't tell you, okay? And this is going to be very important to you, you know, because a lot of us, you know, what are we doing here? We're talking about, we're watching content all the time so that we can make money. We're listening to these gurus and there's sometimes some things that they're leaving out. We want to be real with you. We want to be able to encourage you with truth. Now, let's take a moment and acknowledge e pluribus unum. <laughs> let's say hey. hello to E. I think that statement is on all of our currency in America. <laughs> so, so we know what what he's about. He says, La Machine in the house. Yes. Thank you so much. Also, guys, please, please, please remember if you if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, we really, we are excited to be able to help you. If you want to get connected, text the words working class hustler to the number on your screen. You'll also see that down in the description. But let's... Uh, we're going to do, let's see, we got one, we've got, you know what, we'll do another lead, evaluate that, and then we're going to, we're going to take a segment and go over what we want to talk about. So, but first, 
back to the value for you. So let's take a look at another product here. Now, here we are back in uh, the software tactical arbitrage. Remember, guys, that's what we're using. And also make sure that you take out, take, an, take the lightning courses. The link will be down in the description. Check those out. You can quickly learn how to get some searches going. But in the meantime, here's what we're looking at. We're back at Target again. And remember, just a side note, we already sourced a product at Target. And you might think, well, that product doesn't give me that much of a return on investment. But this is a momentum business. If you source two products from Target, well, now you got something going. If you if you decide, hey, now I got two products, let's just source Target. That way we do an entire haul from Target. And now we don't have to have the greatest returns on investment for each product because we did an entire batch, right? So what are we looking at here? What is this? Can you can you see that, Karen? Uh, I see that it's something. Is it a headband with some? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, okay, what it is is here. Yeah. It's uh, Nick Junior Blues oh. Clues Guest of Honor wearable party headband, and you can get it for two dollars and eighty nine cents. And if we got the right product that same thing sells for about ten dollars so here we go again guys if you're going to pay about three dollars but you could sell it for ten dollars you've got that triple threat that we keep talking about right you don't get to keep all of that but just a quick glance if you're looking at what you pay and then you and then you see it selling on amazon for triple that usually it's going to be worth continuing to look guys you got to understand when you're using this software, you're going down and you're looking at a lot of stuff. So if you know a way to quickly identify a product that's worth further investigation, you see where this is coming from? Learn how to use your time and then you won't get frustrated because I'm telling you, frustration will set in when you're going, man, it's been an hour and I haven't found anything. OK, so. Here we go again. We got to make sure we got the right product. We got to make sure the prices are somewhere in the neighborhood of what they showed on tactical arbitrage, right? Should be around 289. And they were selling it, oh, about 11.69. The price changed. That's another thing, guys. Prices on Amazon are dynamic. They move. How about it, Karen? What would you say about how prices move? on Amazon all the time. I mean, you can a seller can change their price at any time. Price can tank Absolutely. at any time. Price can elevate at any time. It is extremely dynamic. But Absolutely. that's okay. This if you look at Keepa, you can get some idea of what the normal range is. So right. And this is the reason why some people go to uh you know software that will change the price for you. If you're aggressive and you want to get the sale and you're willing to move your price around, you have auto repricers that you can use. Uh, I don't know. Does Amazon still include their repricer with the software? I, at one time, they had a repricer. Which Amazon I never does used. have a repricer. And historically, their repricer only um, decreased your price. So... Uh, yeah, uh, a lot in the industry, a lot of us didn't uh, don't trust that. However, they supposedly have made some changes recently. Oh, um, okay. that allows the prices to increase with market. Oh, uh, but oh, 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 no, what? thank you for me. Oh. I will stick with my repricer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Amazon. Yeah. But no thanks. There may be a conflict of interest. I, I think. <laughs> That's, That's what right. we're looking at here. That's right. Uh, we do have some videos on my favorite repricer. That's that's a topic for another discussion. But I use re I use the repricer called Aura. I love it because it'll it'll adjust your price up or down 
and you can actually tell it how aggressive you want to be. But back to this product. Look, right away, guys, you can see a rank of 87, all, all but 88,000 in toys and games. Guys, you already know that's probably good. And if you didn't know, look at this keep a graph. Look at the velocity on that. What you don't want to see is a flat line going across, right? And look at what else can you see right away when you look at that Cupid chart, okay? Are the hustlers paying attention? What color is it? It's all white. So what would that tell us, Karen? I'm sorry. I was looking at the comments. What What did you oh, ask? Oh, okay. All right. We'll get to those. Hold that for a second. Okay. But you don't see any pan in that area. So what's that telling us? Any pan? Yeah, we don't see any tan color, so we know. Oh, that any Amazon tan? Has oh, it means I'm sorry, I'm a little slow tonight. It means Amazon is <laughs> not even on it at all. Exactly, and they haven't been on it since November, guys. These are the things that you've got to be looking at. Okay, all of this stuff is gonna seem like Chinese to you until you start putting the time in regularly, consistently, and before you know it, you're gonna be able to evaluate. The money is in the evaluation. Once you learn, you know what? See, it's always, a it's, see, y'all done got me hooping and hollering. There's always a segment where I start hollering. And, and now is that time. Once you learn how to evaluate, it's all over. It's all over. Once you learn how to evaluate, <laughs> you will not have a problem sourcing products. Your problem is going to be you're going to run out of money. Yeah. Guys, it's going to change your life. You, you've got to start learning how to evaluate. That is why that is why we spend our time trying to show you our ways of evaluating. Don't you see? Now, back to work. Horace. Could you, you, you asked me about what it means when you don't see tan and the response was, well, that means Amazon's not on it, but why, why do we care if Amazon is on it? Not that we are afraid of being on a listing with Amazon, but when, when Amazon is on the listing, what typically happens? Typically, if Amazon is on the listing in most cases, or quite often, the price is going to be very low and you right. need to know that. Because right. now here we go with another another a tidbit here, another bit of information for you to evaluate. You say Amazon's on the on the listing. Now you have to say, can I compete with Amazon's price? Yes, move forward. No, now you got to look and figure out how often, how often is Amazon on it? Maybe you can do some dinks and dunks and you can jump in when they run out. Guys. There are people that set up their strategies on the most popular products and Amazon is on those products. That's their proof because Amazon will not get on a product generally unless it's really selling. They ain't got time for that. So how can you ride, you know, wait, takes a little patience, but Amazon's on it. So now we know it's popular. Is there a chance for you to make some money when they run out? Because trust me, Amazon wants to make the money. But more important than that, they want to make the sale, whether they're selling it or whether you're selling it. OK, so you got to think. And that's why you use your charts, which is what we're looking at right now. But this chart tells us, hey, Amazon ain't been on this for what? Pretty much from the end of November. And here we are in the middle of February. All right. Now, if you want, you can see. You've got seven people on the listing. You open it up. Look at the stock. This guy has one. This guy's got 35. So you're probably going to sell around that, that price. Now, mind you, here's another thing. Here's more ways that you're evaluating. This dude only got three ratings. So, eh, I don't know. Amateur. You know what I mean? <laughs> it could most likely. Here's, that's here's an amateur, what we know. If you ask me, here's what we know. <laughs> going that deep at this point. L look at how many ratings this guy has. Okay, uh, that that this guy knows what he's doing. Okay, but even he is sitting at nine 
dollars and and 93 cents but guess what he only has three if he's got this much experience and he only has three he's not willing to put that much into this so maybe when you go source maybe you don't want to put that much into it now here we go again you're sourcing at target you're already on your second product from target maybe you don't have to buy as many because you can get the freight you you want to buy enough to where you get free shipping. So the more items you source from a particular store, such as Target, the less of each item you need to purchase. Because you're testing with that first, with that first uh that first run, right? Now, the next thing you want to do is figure out what kind of money you can make. So here we go again. Now we're looking at FBA, but this is a light item. But FBA, you're looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of a 50% markup. So don't get tied up in the actual profit because that's part of an entire budget for the month or however you, you know, whatever time period you factor. But anytime you can get around 50% return on investment, you're doing good. And again, I'm not telling you to buy these. I'm just telling you the facts are this. If you can get around 50% return on investment on anything, you're making money. Okay. So, so this particular item, and, and, and again, I'm not advocating uh, anyone going out and purchasing it necessarily, but in terms of evaluation, this is going to be a very light product. Yes. So that's a good thing. Generally speaking, light products are, are good. Um, and the small and light uh, program is going to enable you to make a little bit more than what's really reflected here because inventory you know, lab doesn't integrate right. the, the fee savings that you can get from Amazon. We we're going to, you know what we're going to do, we're going to do a small and light segment. Uh, I'm going to let you spearhead that too. Cause that's something I got to be honest with the hustlers. I'm not even taking advantage of it. Uh, I, I, I got to get in on that. Um, do you know what that's called Horace? What's that called? Leaving money on the on table. The table. <laughs> you made what made me feel bad. <laughs> you know what you, um, you saw somebody's comment, right? That what, what was that? Do we, is that something we need to just not, well uh, katie's here oh is she and happy 2020 is here always all oh, right all right just got home from the airport oh man thanks so much for joining us we've got 16 people on right now we can't see you unless unless you do what katie and happy 2020 did e pluribus unum they left comments so please if you're here Leave a comment. Let us know where you're at so we can shout you out and acknowledge you. Make sure you give a like. We're doing good with likes today. So if you haven't given us a like, we need you to join in because uh, that's good for the algorithm. If you have questions, please, guys, make sure you ask. Them. That's what we're here for. So. And another. Thing, uh, if you're interested. If you're interested in getting free consultation, myself and Karen, text to the number on your screen and we'll look at your situation. There may be some people out there that are unsure, they're new, or they just have questions and they actually want some personal attention. That is nothing that we would charge you for. Anything we could do to help. Sometimes we can, sometimes we can't. But in either case, we want to help you. So if you need us, it would be our pleasure. Um, let's look at another. Let's see what how we're looking on time. Because we're going on for an hour, guys, and then we got to bounce. So we've Boy, been about a half one, an two, hour. Three is here. Oh. Let's see. Oh, always. Hey, what's good? Uh, we appreciate you coming. F O A B one three two. 
All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at another item. Let's get to the uh, let's get to the value. All right. So here we are back in the software inventory lab. Guys, make sure if you don't know how to use that software. Make sure you take advantage of the, the lightning courses, guys. Use that link in the description. You'll get free 10 days free trial. And you'll know how to, in 10 minutes, you'll know how to get those searches going. What you want to do is make money while you're using the free trial. And of course, you got my number if you have any questions about the software. But in the meantime, check this out. Here we go with a product. And this is what it looks like in tactical arbitrage the way i have mine set up and you can drag these these around i like to look at the images side by side because if the image is way off i know that that's another delimiting factor i can i can pull and keep on going without dealing with that product okay but right off the bat i see we are at the store bestbuy.com i've sourced quite a bit from there we've got a sales rank at around 77,000 and the average is even lower. The 90 day average is even lower. We're going to spend about, oh, $14 before we pay tax. And that should be buy boxing around 35. We're going to see right away. We can see our estimated monthly sales at 43. See, these are the types of things you're going to learn what you like. Okay. You're going to learn how to use this software and look at right away. You've got a, a gross not net. That's a gross return on investment of about 70%. Now, it's probably going to be less than that. And also in the software, you can click on the check restrictions and right away, hopefully you've got good news that you can sell the product. All right. Now, here we go with the evaluation process. What's step number one, Hustler? Step number one, make sure the product is in stock. Now, remember, if there's a Best Buy near you, you might want to go to that Best Buy. What does that do for you? It saves you the frustration of placing the order for online arbitrage and having that order canceled, waiting on a product in the mail, having a product come up lost or damaged, right? Okay, so it looks like we have it. And this happens to be a clearance item. It was regularly $40. Anytime you're looking at a clearance item, you have an advantage right then and there. Okay. But there will probably be tax involved. Now, remember guys, you might want to use a little extension that I use. Watch this. This is called Rev ROI. What if, what if you could get 10% cash back? You see? What if any cash back is just free money? I don't care what it is. That's just free money. So you might want to look at that, right? So just wanted to throw that out. The next thing, let's see it on Amazon and see, is it at the price that it's supposed to be, which should be somewhere around, what, 35? I forget. But right away, I see a suppressed buy box, which is good. And I'm only seeing one person selling it. Uh, he's FBA. He's showing 193. He's got about 40,000 ratings. What's the next thing we're looking at? We're going to take a quick. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. You see that? Did you see, see that? It. I see it. <laughs> I see it. Amazon hasn't been on this product. And I'm talking. When you see that green line go low like that and just stay, look at that. You see? I see. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, now watch this. What are we looking at? We're looking at a product that you should be able to sell for about 35 bucks. And you're only paying about 14 bucks. Guys, there's money in that. But we got to make sure we got the right color, the right product. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. But from what I can see, 
This is white, right? It Not white. White. This is white. <laughs> it will. It will white. It will white. <laughs> it looks good. There's there's model numbers sometimes. I did see a model True. number, so I don't know if there's a model number in the. Um, sometimes it's down Amazon in the. Listing. In the yeah, sometimes it'll be down in the like down here in the technical details. Sometimes and sometimes there isn't, and so you here it is, CSRD three hundred. Those are different. I don't think that's. Oh no, it's look it, look it. There it is. Okay, we got the same thing. Okay. We got we got the right product. Okay, all right, great. <laughs> that yeah. great. All right. So all right. <laughs> one other thing that I would really really be concerned about with this product. Okay. Okay. Um, anytime you have fewer than. I don't know what would you say two or three sellers for us already yeah that that could mean that could right. there may be gating involved th that could mean there could be gating that could mean that um you could run into problems so that's one for sure to check to see if there's been any ip complaints it may only be uh -huh. sold by an authorized seller even if amazon tells you, give you the indication that you can sell it. Uh, Horace, have you ever happened where it appeared that you could sell it and you sent it in and then you get Absolutely. your merchandise in the warehouse and they say, oh no, you can't sell this. And, 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 and that's, I tell you what, I, I, guys pay attention to what, what we're talking about right now. Cause this could go a number of ways. I've had it where everything look right. I source the product. The product comes in, and now I'm getting ready to prepare the shipment. And that's when Amazon says, uh-uh, can't send it in. Now you're looking stupid. But you better be lucky if that happens. Better for it to happen that way right. than for them to let you send it all the way to the warehouse. And then they strand it for that reason. Right. See, see, this is the, guys, look it. Working class hustlers, get your mind right and get your money right. Are y'all listening? It's it's really exciting and no, no, and no. fun. I mean, no, it is. I mean, no. this is a this is a thinking person's game. It really is a game. It, it really is. Hey, we got twenty four people out here. We need to see more likes because I only see eleven. So, number one, thank you, thank you, thank you, for everybody, for spending your time with us. It is our delight and our sincere yes. purpose purpose to give you value so please leave us a comment so that we can acknowledge you let us know what concerns you're having what are your challenges so that we can help you out stay tuned because we're going to finish the evaluation on this product if you need the asins if you can't if you want to actually research these further let me know we'll we'll drop those asins and links down in the chat if you actually want to look at these products because these are products you can actually source if you want. Uh, I sourced a couple from we'll last get... week that I don't know what happened. I don't know what's happening with them All yet. Right. But... Well, you got to keep us posted. Okay, um, I will. Also, stay tuned because right after we finish on this product, guess what? We're going to talk about what the gurus don't always tell you, okay? It's not that we're hating on gurus, but this is going to be for your benefit. So stay tuned. But in the meantime, let's finish up our evaluation because we got to make sure we can make some money, right? <laughs> Guys, remember, I use the scout feature of Inventory Lab. We've got a ton of videos about using the software Inventory Lab. I like it. Karen loves it because you can prep. It's so much easier. Everything is streamlined. It, you get the whole system together. You can print your labels the way you want. But if you could get that item from Target, it's, I mean, not from Best Buy, I meant to say, it's on clearance. You're going to pay a little bit more than $13.99, most likely, if you have a tax situation. But look it, you'll be able to make somewhere in the neighborhood of $10. And you're talking about, Oh, easily upwards 70% return on investment on a product that's ranked 106,000 in tools and home improvement. Yes, you do need to check, double check, 
triple check and make sure that you've got the right product, make sure that everything's working right for you. And if you have some software like uh, IP alert or something, if if you might, if you're a little questionable on whether or not this product is gated, then take advantage of that. I'll tell you what, though, while we're looking at this product, let's come back down to the keeper chart. And you see where it's on three months? We're going to go for a year. Oh, boy. Let me see. Yep, yep, yep. I'm only seeing one person on this. This Ot Light Technologies. Uh-huh. Let me see here. I want to see what and you've got some questions over here in comments. I don't know what a PL John John says this is a PL item. Let's see. P Private label, I think he's saying. Oh. But guys, if you notice, I went in using Keepa to see all of the products that that this seller has, and they all seem to be this Ot Light. So, yeah, you're probably going to run into some IP issues with this. So, yeah, I'd be a little, I'd question this. Yes. Because. Um, but the process is really what you're trying insane. to explain. And so yeah. the process is. And that's is why. Good. Exactly. I mean, mostly we just want to show you how to, how to evaluate. But, yeah. Whoever made that comment, you are correct. This is a private label product. So, but there are other products similar to this that you will be able to jump on. Now, let's talk a little bit about this one topic that we want to go over. What the gurus don't tell you. Give me a second. I need to get into my notes here and I got locked out. So, <laughs> uh, RV really has a, a burning question for us. Okay. Did you see it uh, regarding um, FBM fees? Okay, let me. Let me I know you're here. trying to navigate to. All right, Miss Cancer. Da, 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 da. Can someone answer my questions? Does FBM fees include Amazon shipping your products to the customer? Well, that yes, you need you need to factor that in. If you want to see how that breaks down, we could show you. But when we say FBM, oh, you said does FBM fulfilled by merchant fees right amazon okay fulfilled by merchant that means you're shipping it so fbm amazon isn't isn't shipping your products i think you if you meant fba does fulfillment by amazon fees include amazon shipping the answer is yes but if you want yeah okay i got you i got you but if 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 you want the breakdown for that um you know what? We could show you real quick. She meant FBA. Yes, yeah, FBA yeah, includes that. the cost um, that Amazon is charging you to pick and pull and ship the product. I think they break the fees into two different areas, but bottom line, yeah. the total represents what they charge to pick, pull, and ship. Right. On uh, FBA. I actually want to see if we can get that breakdown and just show show that for see. that item. Mikey's yeah. in the building. Hey, Mikey. <laughs> hey, what's up, Mikey? So when you use Inventory Lab, it can be a big help, too, because... For me, it, when I 
in inventory lab, I'm able to factor in um, a figure for my shipping, my FBA shipping. I'm able to factor in uh, storage fees. I typically have plugged in three months. So when I see my return on investment, it, it is showing it to me, my ROI, the number that I get um, assumes 50 cents per pound for shipping, as well as three months worth of storage in um, the warehouse for FBA. But you can set that any way you want to or not set it at all. So when it comes to your fees, and here you can see we're using the, the revenue calculator, you can that's that's free for you to use. You stick the, the item price in and you've got it on both the FBA side as well as the FBM so that you can look. But when you talk about your Amazon fees, you can toggle and see you're going to pay a referral fee. You're going to pay a closing fee. And then when it comes over to the fulfillment cost, this is what you're paying Amazon to, to ship the product to the customer. So your fees can get, get pretty high there, right? Because you're already up to 12, 15, and we didn't even include anything that we might need to add to that. Okay. Right. So I hope that answers your question. So one of the things that I think about, of course, when I see that, yes, the fees, they do add up, but um, we, you also have to factor in that the UPS and USPS uh, shipping fees are not cheap. So you have to weigh the two. Oh, absolutely. You know, and you really don't know until you start doing this enough to really, you know, start figuring it out. You, you'll get better and better at it. But let me double check and make sure we don't have any other pressing questions. I love to FBM lightweight items, truthfully, mm -hmm. because the um, shipping, I mean, if I can send something that's, if I can send something first class, if it if I can keep the package under a pound, then I don't have to do a lot of calculation. I don't have to think too much about how much it's going to cost me to ship probably around six dollars or less i can ship it and that's quick and easy then once you get beyond a pound then it gets complicated and more complicated in terms of uh you know where it's going if i'm shipping from where i live to uh i don't know somewhere in the midwest uh it's not mm. going to be too bad but if i'm shipping to california or washington state whoa buddy yeah, and that's where they get you, especially if you're like me on the East Coast. They love giving giving you those ones that are going to California, Oregon, you know, Wyoming, and all of these points west. So without further ado, hustlers, let's get into what the gurus don't always tell you. And you know, we we Karen and I were talking and just just follow me on this what what I'm about to talk about <laughs> now remember the best and I'm not really I'm not I hate to call somebody a liar but the best lies have an element of truth to them the gurus don't always tell the whole story about how long it takes to make a profit okay and we're going to give an example of that You might be watching a video where a person, they want to take you through the process and they're touting how quick and easy it is to find a product. For example, retail arbitrage, they might say, hey, they made a profit in 15 minutes, but they're not necessarily factoring or taking into account all the time that was spent. What, what would you say about that, Karen? Well, what they, I mean, what they show on the video and typically it's going to be a short video, you know, you can do everything real quick, quick, fast, but um, 
yeah, it takes you 15 minutes to pull it off the shelf and into your basket. But wait, you had to go on tactical arbitrage first to figure out that the products were there. You had to drive to the store. You had to, there's just so many other things that are, are there. So yeah, they made, you know, $500 in 15 minutes technically, but not really because there's so much work <laughs> around that, that they, they just don't mention. And also, you know, a lot of times they completely bypass discussing the amount of capital you need to have available when you go sourcing, right? This is very important. Having available capital is paramount. You can't make the purchases if you ain't got the money, right? You could start, one of the great things about arbitrage is that you could start with virtually any amount. But when you're looking at these huge numbers that people like to brag about, most of the time, they don't tell you how much money they spent in order to do that. Now, we're going to we're going to probably next week, we're going to really delve into that a little deeper in a segment. But guys, just realize if you're thinking big numbers in terms of how much revenue you want to make, you got to be thinking big numbers in how much you're spending on the budget to do it. Right. right. If you want to make money, you got to spend money. Right. OK. But we're going to get deeper into that. But what we wanted to talk about was just to kind of give you a heads up, pull your coattail, give you a little bit of warning, because you got some content creators that are very, very good at presenting something to you in a way that might prove to be a little unrealistic, right? Unrealistic. You got to factor in everything. Is there money to be made? Absolutely. You're talking to myself. You're talking to Karen. We're both six-figure sellers. So, yes, we wouldn't be doing this if there wasn't money to be made. But, there, you know, we ain't got to lie to you. And, and we don't have to withhold any truths. This is what it is. You got to do the work. And you need to be aware of what it really takes. You see this? Read this. You see that? No excuses. Keep grinding. Exactly. <laughs> Is that what we're doing today? Okay. That's what we better be doing every day. <laughs> okay. If, if, if we want to make money out here, right? Okay. Now let's check. We got 19 users out here. We got 12 likes. Hustlers, if you have not, if you have not given us a thumbs up, please do so. If you want to be recognized, acknowledged for your times with us tonight, please leave a comment. If you have any questions, we're here for that. Now we're going to take a second. Well, I shouldn't say a second. We're going to take a little while and we're going to go over exactly how to set up a product search uh, in tactical arbitrage. Of course, so. while you're doing that, just, just to acknowledge this, we might not be able to um, get to it tonight, but I just want to mm -hmm. acknowledge that Chris is wondering about, well, what about FBM products, the products that we looked at today, as it turned out, um, they all um, were products that we would likely FBA. So um, Chris is wondering about FBM. Again, we might not be able to get to it today, but if we don't get to something today, we'll definitely get to it next time. And then Mike is asking about, uh, let's see, are you extension of inventory lab? I'm not sure. Mikey, what you're asking and about private label items? I don't know. Are you extension of inventory lab? Not, he might be he asking, is shirt. there? <laughs> <laughs> is, I, I'll get you. I'll get you a link to that. Uh, why don't you? Here's what you do so that we don't so that we don't forget because we can get you that shirt, no problem. Why don't you text text me at this number right here? You can also find that down in the description, and we'll get you a link where you can get that shirt, no problem. In the meantime, 
Hold on a second. Let me go back to my comments. Oh, no, so Katie. Not six figures from the left. <laughs> we got it. We got We We got to We got to get to the right, to the right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but kudos for sticking to it. Kudos for sticking in. There's a learning curve with this, folks. It's not like that, those that, bills tell about. you just, hey, just run in the store and grab some some items and make five hundred dollars or a, a million dollars. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I, I just no. It's not exactly like that. You still have to do the work. You have to evaluate your products. You have to do your research, your due diligence, all those things. Uh, so let's take a look at the software uh, tactical arbitrage. And what we're going to do is we're going to come. We're gonna, I want to get started from the dashboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to perform a product search. A product search is where you come out to the software. Oh, that's why I was getting that error. I need to um, I need to get signed in. And so now you can see what the sign in screen looks like. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to get signed in. RB, I think Horace found the fees on Amazon's own calculator. Yeah, I, we showed that um, if I was showing my screen right. Yes. So maybe we can put a link to that calculator, revenue calculator? It, the revenue calculator because it is it is free you don't have to pay for that yeah, if you just go to google oh and, and google revenue amazon calculator? revenue calculator yeah that'll, okay that'll that's probably that. the easiest fastest quickest thing absolutely yeah it'll come up in the top of the results and Mikey, yes, you're right. Inventory Lab is is trying to make some adjustments. Amazon, uh, I'm, we're kind of getting into the weeds a little bit, but um, Amazon has a new uh, send to Amazon feed, which I uh, I don't want to do it, um, but maybe <laughs> we'll eventually be forced to it. But I'm sticking with the old for right now. Okay. So with that being said, let's get over, get back over into tactical arbitrage. Now, here we go again. We're at the, uh, the dashboard. We're going to go into product search. And what product search does, that tells the software to pick, you're going to pick a particular site. So out of all of these, you would pick a particular site so we were at uh we were at best buy so we'll we'll stay there for a minute now the way i'm doing it you see me just i'm starting to type in and now that came up now remember when it comes to tactical arbitrage you can do a search in advanced or you can do it in basic now basic is in my opinion too basic it's very simple, but you don't really get to filter down as much as you want. I like to set my cash for five days. You can set it for as much as you want. If you want a quicker, if you want your results quicker, then you want more, uh, a bigger cash. Okay. Uh, you can do a cash only search, but then that's not going to take into account anything new. It's just going to, the software will just be looking at things that other people have already brought up in their results. Uh, this one I always leave off. Oh, what we're really doing right here is just showing you how to quickly get through this. But let's see, disable duplicate checker. What this would do, and, in, and again, guys, any questions that you have, like you could read it, you click on the little question mark, Use this to ignore duplicates. That way it would skip the products that you already have in your view data somewhere. You know what I mean? So it'll make things, it won't put things in front of you that you've already, that's already in some of your results. Okay. Now I wouldn't worry about this box right here because we're going to do 
what's called easy bulk. And then you don't need to tell it where to start, where to end. Now, here's where things get interesting. You can have up to 500 categories from a particular store. A lot of stores don't have that many, but a big store like Walmart, Best Buy, you'll have that many. You'll have over 500. So let's say we liked appliances. Now, remember, you can toggle and get down as granular as you want. When you say appliances, you could do all 30 subcategories or you could say, hey, I want small appliances, which is more of what I would do. I don't want to I don't want the software looking at washers and dryers. Right. So you see where this comes into play. If you just want what you want to look at, uh, I like to do, for example, I would say toys and games. That's 32 subcategories under there. Maybe you only want to do something like games, puzzles, and cards. And you can figure this out. I just want to point that out to you. You know, video games, you could just go for all 23. Or you might say, I only want to see what's in the deals in the outlet. Or I only want to go with Nintendo Switch or whatever. In this case, I would take, I would just say all of the toys and games. Okay. Now, some of the things that might confuse people is when you get to the filters, this section would be if you knew you were going to, you had cash back and you wanted to factor that in. If there was a, for example, the whole, the store might be having a sale, 20% off, off of all, you know, everything in the store or everything in the categories that you're looking at. Sometimes that's the deal. Maybe you're using a gift card. So all of that can be factored in so that you're looking at more of what's really going on as far as what your cost is. Now we get to the area where you where the rubber meets the road. Now you'll notice on an average, you can go, you can remove ranks based on a 30-day average or a 90-day average. If you notice, I go very wide. You're going to figure out the way you want to do it. I'll take anything 500,000 or less. For a lot of people, that's going to be too much. But the reason I like to cast my net wide is because I want to be, I want to have more in front of me that I can evaluate. The software doesn't account for a lot of things. As we said earlier, Prices change a lot. Ranks change a lot. I want to see more. Okay. Let's see for rank filter. Uh, and again, a lot of this stuff you don't necessarily need, but if you, if you have questions about it, all you need to do is click the little uh, question mark. Uh, I do like to remove third party sellers from the results. Cause I don't, I don't particularly, I don't tend to buy, from third party sellers and then turn around and sell on Amazon. I have done it, but eh, typically I don't. I do not remove oversized products because I will deal with them. That's a degree of separation. A lot of people don't want to deal with oversized products. I make pretty good money on items that are classified as uh, oversized. Uh, I do. Sometimes I, I remove out of stock products. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I still want to see an item that's out of stock at the time. But a lot of when you spend enough time on tactical arbitrage, it's not that you're going to find a deal every time. But what you do is you learn certain trends. Why not? Why not be shown a product that may be out of stock right now, but it's going to jog your memory later? When it is in stock and you remember, hey, I looked at that. There was a good return on investment. Uh, there was good profit margin. When that comes back in stock, you know, I want to be ready or better yet, hustlers. We, we're not going to get into it right now, but better yet. What if you saw a product and you decided to take advantage of the features of this software that says, hey, give me an alert when that product comes back into stock? You see, the software will do that. So why not be shown items that are out of stock 
but may come back into stock later. Now you've got another degree of separation because a lot of people are using tactical arbitrage and all they're worried about is what they're seeing right now because they don't know how to plan. If you know how to plan, you've got an advantage. Uh, and here's another one I don't click on. Remove if Amazon contains no weight or size. I don't need that. I don't care. I can figure that out. And you'll get better at it too if you keep, if you're constantly shown those items and you end up having to learn a lot when it comes to weights and measures. And then you can see down the line, remove if Amazon is also a seller. I don't do that because I will jump on a listing. You may not. So if you don't like listings where Amazon is, is, is on the listing and is an active seller, you would click. Remove hazmat products. I don't. Even though I'm not in the hazmat program, I can do merchant fulfilled if it's hazardous. And if, if it's a good deal, I will. Remove if buy box is suppressed. Guys, you know, I love suppressed buy boxes. <laughs> Remove if restricted for my account. Why would I want to do that? Maybe I see a deal that's so good, I may want to get unrestricted. So, you know, and then what if I may be gated for the product now, but later on down the line, I become ungated. You may be auto ungated for something. It happens. Remove if already saved. Now, you may want to do that. OK. If you want to stay away from products which are already in your saved folders, they already that that's kind of redundant because we saw another feature to do that. Uh, remove if product has multiple quantities. I think that would be for somebody that does not want to get into multi packs. OK. Then you can say remove if estimated sales is less than I put a 10 in there. If there's less than 10, I don't want to look at it. Sometimes the software will still bring back results anyway. But generally speaking, that's what I go with. You may want something else. Uh, I don't put anything in the number of variations, but some people don't like dealing with a product that has a ton of variations because now you got to evaluate more. OK, look at this one. Remove if the number of competitive FBA sellers is more than blank. I don't care how many, but you might. You see, so what, what's great about this software is it's really not that hard, right, to figure this stuff out. Remove if number of reviews is less than blank. Some people, one of their, you know, factors for evaluating a product, they want to see a lot of reviews. I don't really care how many reviews it has because I have products that have very few reviews, but yet they're selling. I care about whether or not it's selling, but you may have a different system. OK, so, again, a lot of this is self-explanatory. That pretty much covers that. Look, at you could even say remove if Amazon has been in stock for X amount of days. I mean, there's just so much you can do with that. Sourcing titles, I don't use, but look at remove words from source title before searching, add words. I mean, that's this, this so much you can do with this. Cost and fees, this helps you to kind of factor in. You know, let's say you were using, for example, a prep center, you can put in what it's going to cost for a standard prep. You can put in what they what your prep center may charge for oversized products, what they charge to to create a bundle. So I don't really use those. I go with a cost per pound of about 50 cents. And then I'm still evaluating it. So uh, profit and return on investment, I keep those very low. But you can say, hey, I only want to keep data if the gross profit is at least you might say $10. I say a dollar because I just want more results. Um, and the same with your return on investment. I want to see at least 10% because there are certain factors in there that may bring it to the 20% that I really want. Okay. And guys, that pretty much covers it. You know, you can get, you can get down into some of your other things. Also show Amazon out of stock results. I like that. Uh, 
no match found results show only no match found results uh i tell you for example you might say show only amazon out of stock results that's saying you might be looking you might want to look at products that are not currently even on amazon's website and that way you're constantly bringing products back to the market if if you do your evaluation and you see that that's good now once you set everything up and as you can see down here i've got 10 filters total applied you could actually name this search and then instead of having to click on all of this stuff it's already done but by default whenever you come out to to start a search it's going to autofill with whatever you had in the last search that you did so that pretty much covers how to do a, a product search And if you have any questions, of course, leave a comment with us. You've got our number. So send us a text. Let's double check before we wrap because we're actually 12 minutes over. We love you guys so much. You spoiled. Working class hustlers. <laughs> You're spoiled. Or 16 minutes over. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey says. Damn, I must be a FBM guru because I find products that sell before I hit the checkout. You know what? That happens. That does happen. B. Christopher, we love y'all. We love you too. Uh, <laughs> if you, oh man, we're up to 17 likes. Thank you so much, Hustlers, for joining us. I hope, I hope you got value. Guys, listen, we need to know we need to know what you want help with you we need to know what topics you want us to cover we can't read your mind and if you don't tell us well we're just gonna do what we think would be best for you but what we really want we really want feedback and input from you working class hustlers of america and all across the globe remember we're here for you we could be doing other stuff right now like watching funny cat videos or scrolling on TikTok, right? <laughs> uh, but... <laughs> no, like packing a shipment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we could be making money. So you know, let's all use our time wisely. You guys came out here. We love it, and we can't tell you how to spend your time. If you're getting value from us, that's good enough. But we need feedback so that we know. Are we doing a good job? Is there anything that we could be covering? Is there anything you need help with? We're family out here. So we want to hear from you. All right, guys, we're going to take one last look to see if there were any more comments. I see a comment that I'm quite interested in. All right, read it. Um, RV asks if we have a group that um i think it's she they can join um and i don't we don't uh at this point and i right. wonder how many other viewers who are watching would be interested in a group so if you'd be interested in a group just say you know give give us a thumbs up or i'm interested or um Let's let's keep an eye on that because yeah. I think um, groups can really be great and and that's how we met. <laughs> that, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. Um, you meet other because doing selling resell it's kind of lonely sometimes. You know, you're just sometimes. sort of by yourself most of the time. So having a community of of uh, people um, is great. So. But we need to know who who's interested in that. Look at what Lou Jack Renee said. Did you, can you see that comment? Oh, I can. That's nice. Thanks, Lou Jack. <laughs> <sighs> All right, guys. I think we've done it for tonight. So 
Uh, I've got about 50 orders that need to be processed for tomorrow. <laughs> FDM. Absolutely. Okay, so next time we have to remember to try to see if we can find some items uh, that, uh, that if you can source FBM. some items that could be could work for FBM. I would love that because I do quite a bit. So with that, guys, yep. we are out of here. For the lovely Miss Karen, I am La Machine. <laughs> Respecting your mind, your time, and most definitely your grind. We done showed you how to get this paper. It's time to go get mine. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> See you later. All right.